The trick to using solar electricity in an ordinary home is the use of an inverter to turn direct current, DC electricity, into alternating current, AC electricity. AC is what most home appliances use. AC is also the kind of power distributed over our national grid. Alternating current travels over the grid from conventional fossil fuel burning or nuclear power plants, wind farms, sun farms, geothermal and hydroelectric plants at voltages typically as high as 500 kilovolts. High voltage alternating current is used because it suffers fewer losses during the long distance transmission. It also permits thinner, lighter wires making such distance delivery possible. Solar modules produce DC current at flexible voltages dependent on the number and wiring of the panels. Small installations typically produce 12, 24, or 48 volts, while larger residential and light commercial solar installations are often wired to produce as much as 600 volts. To feed these DC electrons back into the grid and to make them compatible with the power coming into our homes, we must invert the DC energy that solar panels produce into the pure sine wave AC power our appliances and our grid expect. The inverter is the device that does this. Certain inverters, like the ones shown here, contain sophisticated safety circuitry that senses the voltage and current in the grid line coming to the house. These, in line with spring-loaded circuit breakers that linemen can trip at will, shut off the power coming from the roof in the event of a blackout so that linemen working won't get zapped by the energy you're feeding back to the grid. Because of this safety feature, these inverters permit you to be grid intertied, connected to the utility's power so that you can add your clean electrons to the common pool, helping the utility company during times of high demand and running your meter backwards when you aren't consuming as much as you're producing. The disadvantage of these systems is that when the grid goes down, you go down too. To avoid such a possibility, many people use an inverter capable of integration with a battery backup system. In these systems, you still feed into the grid, while an internal charge controller maintains your battery bank for those times when the grid is down. This way, when there's a blackout, your house switches to solar-fed battery power, and your lights and refrigerators stay on.